The kit contains nine packets with nine different colors and all of the pieces, all 14 pieces, are uh, backed with heat and bond, which is an adhesive that allows you to iron down your pieces in place and then applique, do your simple zigzag applique stitch around the piece. Also in your kit there are two guides. This is guide A and it is the same size as the um, block that you're going to put her on. As you can see what I did was because I want to secure this guide so it doesn't shift and it's so big I put a pin here on the bottom, put a pin in the middle on the edge and a little pin in the top corner, making sure that you're edge to edge with your block. So we're just right on top of the block. And then when we lift it, we will lift it like a hinge. And we'll put it back and it will come back down in the same place. First piece we're going to take is the umbrella. And it, if you look at your picture, that's why I have it, you want the, the one that underneath, you want the A piece. And it's light, so we're looking for the light a umbrella, a umbrella, the full umbrella. We're going to pull the paper off and we're going to put it right inside there. Okay, we're going to pull this paper off the back. You can see the glue that we put on there. We're going to put it in the guide right here at the top. Okay, we're going to tack it in the middle with our iron just so it stays put. And then we're going to pick up the paper and we're going to iron it down. And we'll flip our guide back down. There is a second guide. It's called the guide B. And it goes inside. It fits inside the other one. And it has just a few cuts in it. One is the neck piece. Which is the second piece we're going to put on. So we're going to take the neck. Which is the C. We're going to pull the paper off of it. Okay. And it goes right in that guide. Right there. Okay. I'm going to take that guide off. Pack it down. It doesn't move. Pick up my sheet. Turn it in place. Put my big bag down. In your kit is this is ribbon and it is backed with the um, heat and bond. And if you look real close, this one says this is the top piece of ribbon. This is her umbrella stem, and this is what we're going to do with it. We're going to pull off the paper on the back. Okay, we're going to take this ribbon and it's going to go where the post hole is at the top and where the marking is. We're going to remove this and it needs to stop right at the neck. So I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to pin it right to the neck right there. And I'm going to run it up through the post hole right there. Put another pin in it so it stays put. And I'm going to lift my guide for a second and I'm going to iron that in place. Pull my pin out and iron that down. Pull this pin out and iron that down. This is the bottom. I take the bottom piece of the umbrella which is the dark colored umbrella. I'm going to pull off the paper. We're going to put it on top. match it right along the edge and we're going to iron that down the next piece we're going to take is her bonnet we're going to pull the paper off we're going to put it up here hold the guide down we're going to get it to fit until it fits right there awesome we're going to tack her down round bonnet piece. Now on the back you will see where it says M bonnet. There are two marks. Those marks are where it fits on her corners of her bonnet. You're going to pull the paper off. And we're going to iron that in place. I'm going to put the guide back down, which is the arm E. I'm going to pull the paper off arm E. On the guide there's a little mark for the tip of her hand. She should fit right into the curves on the guide. 
She stays right there. We're gonna lift the guide and iron that arm down. Put the guide back. I'm gonna put the arm carefully right inside that guide. We're gonna pin it to the shift. Pick up the paper. I'm going to iron that arm in place, right there, there she goes. Take the ribbon now that's marked middle on it, we're going to pull the um, tape off the middle piece. Up to her neck, through that guide, right there, it's got to go right there. We're going to take our pin, pin that right to the neck, and pin the other one right down here by the ribbon. Okay, this is going to come up and it's going to go all the way to the hand and we're going to iron it in place. The last little piece is your tip and you're going to pull your paper off it and put it on the other side of your hand. This is the end of her umbrella. You can cut that if you don't like its length. Okay, it goes down right there on the other side of her hand. Okay, and the guide goes back. And we're going to put in her cute little black shoes down there in the bottom. There's one. Let's put it right there. Okay, we have her two little shoes. We're going to iron those down. Oh, how cute. We're going to put our guide bee back on again. So we get this center panel where it belongs. So there she is. We're going to take our center panel. Now I had to give you a piece to brace the pattern together. So it's going to run over that paper. It's going to go right down to her shoes and up to the top. And we'll iron her down right where I want her. Do not iron it on the paper. Okay, I have pinned her in place. I'm going to take off my B guide. And I'm going to iron this little purple piece down. It's an eye. Right side of the skirt's an eye. Just so I don't get my right and my left confused. We're going to pull off her paper. She needs to come up. She needs to touch that purple. You have to move her a little to it. I'm going to put the other side on too. And this is the H side or the other side. Now this one is going to cover the hand. That's part of the plan. Do not panic. Come up on the purple. And it should come up on, see it's going to come up over her hand a little bit. Okay, we're going to pin that one in place and we'll iron them both down. We have those pinned. I'm going to lift the guide again. And we're going to iron her side skirts down. My iron. It's going to come across her elbow. That is right. And this one is going to come up on her other hand. Okay, put our guide back. The next piece we're going to put in is her bodice. And it has to just touch those two, kind of sit on those two pieces. A little overlap. We're going to iron that down. Okay, I'm going to pick up my guide. The last piece is her um, collar. We'll rip the paper off the collar. She, it fits right around her neck. Comes down and covers the arms and the bodice piece. Like that. And then you iron that in place. Okay. Now to finish it, because they're rough edges, I would take the dark purple and you do your zigzag edge all the way around this piece. Very small, tiny, close together zigzags all the way around this. And I'd go all the way around this piece. And then I'd go all the way around her collar and her outer umbrella and her bonnet. So you have all the dark pieces done first. Then I would change my thread to a lighter purple and I would just go down, over, up, 
in here and stop. Just get your point so you define your point a little bit. And then you want to go down here and just go across the bottom of her shoes right here. And I would take the purple and go just around the outside border of her bonnet and along the outside of her skip that don't don't do your thing the outside of the outer rib of the umbrella okay the handle I would go brown thread just go down the middle of it with a straight stitch just tack it down it's ribbon and it won't free on the ends because it's ribbon down the middle of the stick change your colors and do your arm around your arm and go on the outside of this one and the inside of that one and then down her neck on both sides but you don't need to do this part or this part or this part because they have already done it with the purple and then you can do down here on her little shoes with black just go around this shoe pick it up and go around that shoe and she should be gorgeous now that's an easy way you don't have to do any stitching to put the feet in you don't have to do any stitching to put the arms in you don't have to do any stitching for the umbrella or the neck. If you want the whole kit ready to go, you get the nine blocks. You get nine different packages of a different color with the heat and bond pieces, and they are already cut out for you. Of course, you get the guides to place them. You get the picture to show you how to do it, and you get step-by-step -step instructions on how to put it together. She comes out absolutely adorable. I mean, look at her. Absolutely adorable. What girl would not want to have one of those on her bed?